So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at my entire Fortnite locker. I've been playing Fortnite since Chapter 1, Season 1. So we have, like, nearly a 1,000 skins that I've collected over the last few years. So many different pickaxes as well and so many bundles. So we're going to be taking a look at absolutely everything in my locker. And the biggest difference is that this video has a face cam. So if you guys haven't seen what I look like before... Well, this is B, I guess. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And we are going to be starting up our second channel once again. So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, I used to upload on my second channel quite a bit and we would do different gameplay videos. So if you want to see more videos like that, then make sure to go down and click the link to my second channel because we're going to be uploading a bunch of videos for season two over there and a bunch of ranked challenges as well. So make sure you guys go and check those out. But let's just get straight into it and we're starting off with the Lego kits. Now, I only own one thing, and that is the Bride Bedroom Decor, because I bought this bundle for the skin that you actually got with this, and... Yeah, that's the only Lego kit that I own. If you guys do want to see me play Lego Fortnite, then make sure to let me know because we can definitely do that. But as we move into the jam tracks, because I make a lot of videos and have to use gameplay in my videos, I don't really buy a lot of these because they are copyrighted. So we just don't really own that many jam tracks. Plus, it is kind of weird to spend V-Bucks on things that I'm not really going to use. So that's why I just haven't really bought them. The cars, though, are a little bit different. We did buy the Lamborghini because it's a Lamborghini. Who doesn't like them? We also have the Scorpion and the Cyclone, which I think were the default cars. Um, we don't really have any of these decals. We only bought the wheels, the Santa Fe wheels, because I think they do look quite cool. The trails we haven't really bought either, and we don't own any boosts apart from the default one, but this will probably change over the next few weeks. The instruments are the same. I haven't really played the music game mode of this, which is like Guitar Hero or Band Hero. I haven't played this at all. So if you guys want to see me play that, then make sure to let me know. But we just have the default guitars that you get in bundles, the battle passes, and a few other bundles from the item shop. So there really aren't too many in here. The guitars do look kind of cool though. The drums are really clean. Uh, we don't really have any microphones either. The guitars are kind of cool and that's it. So yeah, we're getting through all the uh, items that we don't really use that often. Banners, we just have all the standard banners that you get in battle passes and bundles. I don't think there's any rare ones in here from like chapter one, season one. But uh, yeah, I haven't changed these around pretty much since I started playing. So that's why there's all these notifications of new ones that I have. Um, lobby music, I don't really check out, but loading screens we can definitely take a look at. There are so many in here. I sort of just get all the ones that you get in the battle pass like everyone else. I have favorited a few that I have sort of on rotation, um, but I haven't really looked at too many of these for a really long time. So if you guys do want to look through and see if there are any rare ones in here, then maybe it is worth going through and just slowing down the video, taking a look at which ones I do actually have. But as you guys can see, the ones that I use most often are probably just the ones that I have favorited. And uh, yeah, I think those are the ones that look the coolest. I probably should go through and find some of the better design ones because I haven't looked through these for a very, very long time. As you guys can see from all the notifications, uh, we probably should just go through and look at all of them. The Marvel ones are really clean. I do think they look quite cool. And uh, yeah, the DC ones as well. You can see our favorite a few because they look quite cool. But uh, that's all my loading screens. We then move on to a little bit of a more exciting one. And these are the wraps. We'll go to the assault rifle just because I think it's a better model to use than the boat. Um, but yeah, all the favorited ones, again, are the ones that I do use quite often. I feel like we'll just hover over a few that I have used quite a bit. Um, I really like the Legend. I feel like the more simplistic ones are definitely becoming more popular in Fortnite today. When they first got added, a lot of people using the more highly animated or just the bright colored wraps that we did see. Like the Sonic Glow was actually really popular. Um, but as time has gone on, I feel like the theme and the trend with these has really changed. And we are seeing things like the Rogue Archaeology or just the darker, more simplistic wraps being quite popular. The X2 Twins always use the red plastic just because it does look quite clean. And it is very simplistic. 
the rainbow fog is really clean um, but yeah mostly all the favorited ones haven't changed in a while i feel like these are similar to my loading screens where i haven't changed these around for a few years so i probably should go through and find some of the better ones i use midas's shadow all the time that was so good and you could get it for free which just made it even better but i feel like what fortnite really needs to do with wraps is similar to what they have done with the ranked skin which is odyssey that you can actually unlock different edit styles depending on what rank you actually get up to. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for Fortnite to add in wraps for each specific gun and the more kills that you get with them or the more eliminations you get in Fortnite the better the wrap actually becomes. Similar to how Call of Duty do it where you basically get different challenges for each different wrap and you can just unlock more different wrap styles or color variants for the more that you actually play the game. It'd be a little bit of an incentive for people to grind out Fortnite and I feel like that is something they should definitely look at doing because I feel like the wraps have sort of been neglected over the last few seasons and we aren't really seeing too many people buying some of the more popular ones but uh yeah I feel like these are kind of cool the dark angular shift is probably one of my most used ones as well but uh yeah that's all my wraps okay we then move on to emotes my god there's a lot in here okay we nearly have a thousand 886 emotes in my locker Oh boy. All right. We will start all the way down the bottom. We just have different emotes, different dances, different stickers. Basically, everything that you unlock in the battle pass is going to be in here. And since I've been playing Fortnite since chapter one, season one, there's pretty much everything in here that has ever been added to a battle pass or to the item shop. I don't really buy a lot of emotes. Um, apart from when I think I'm going to use it in a video. So some of the more popular ones are definitely going to be in here. But yeah, there's a lot in here that I've probably never used before and uh, probably never going to use. I don't really use any of these stickers or the sprays. I just don't feel like they were as successful as Fortnite thought they were actually going to be. But it is still really cool to take a look through all of these items that I have collected over the years. We obviously just unlocked all of the Korra items as well. So it's really cool to see that sticker or that emote in here. Um, we do have a few of the more TikTok dancers as well, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I don't really emote on anyone. I feel like I'm just definitely way too much of a bot to be emoting on people. Uh, so I don't really use too many of them. But the Battle Pass emotes are definitely really cool. We have the toys in there as well, which is really cool when Fortnite first added them to the game. But we just haven't seen them being added for a really long time. So it seems like they were a cool idea. And maybe just the Fortnite community didn't appreciate them enough or didn't use them the level that Fortnite thought they would be used. And for that reason, they haven't added any more to the game. God, there are so many in here. We obviously have all the Star Wars ones. I feel like a lot of people have actually used these in the past. Um, we have the Potted Groot dance, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of these uh, collab items are really clean, but there are some really cool ones in here. The Gaming Legends ones are pretty cool as well. And then the DC ones up the top. But there you guys go. That is pretty much all the emotes. We're going to be talking about the skins very, very soon. Okay, so before we get onto skins, we're starting off with contrails. We have 126 contrails, which is actually a decent amount. I feel like they really only add contrails to the battle pass. We have the wacky waivers, which was one of my favorites. I'm just going to favorite them because I think they're cool. Um, but yeah, I don't really change around my contrails too much. I do have it set to favorites, I think. So it does just change them around most games. Whenever I do unlock a new one that I think looks cool, I'll probably end up using that for a few days and then changing it around to something else that I maybe have just unlocked or one of the more favorited ones. But it probably is time to go through and have a look at some of these, like the Avatar's Descent, which we just unlocked. It would be really cool to actually change these around. I definitely need to go through my locker and and look at what I actually have because we haven't changed these around for a really long time. I didn't even know half of these Marvel ones existed. The Doom Drop. I definitely have used the Loose Threads before. I feel like that came to the game with the Spider-Man skin. We have the Multiversal Energy. Um, Fall to their Doom. I was using the Spelunkers Special. I just called these the Flares. I thought they were really cool. Um, so we did use them quite a bit. And the Pick a Card Contrail. I didn't even know that was in there, but that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, maybe it's time I actually go through and have a look at some of these. But we'll do that 
after this video. Let's move on though to another favorite and these are the gliders. We have 274 gliders in my locker. So there's definitely a lot in here. Um, we have all of these skin specific ones down here that it's not going to let me show you, which is kind of annoying. Um, but most of the gliders that I do own have just been collected from battle passes. We also have pretty much every single victory umbrella that has ever been added to the game, um, which is kind of cool. So I feel like I'm only missing maybe one or two, which is honestly kind of crazy considering there have been like 30 seasons now in Fortnite. Um, so to just be playing for that long is really cool. Um, the favorited ones are definitely the ones that I use the most. The Shenron is really sick. I've used the Rocket Science quite a bit in the past as well. I just thought that was really cool when it first got added. There aren't really too many rare ones in here apart from the Mako Glider. Now, there's a funny story behind this. So basically, when I was playing Fortnite back during Chapter 1 Season 1, when the Season Pass was going on, I grinded out the game with friends, and I actually leveled up enough to unlock the Renegade Raider skin. And I didn't want to spend V-Bucks, I didn't want to spend money on the game, so the only thing that I could actually spend money on that I had enough V-Bucks for was the Mako Glider. Just keep that in mind. I literally had the opportunity to buy the Renegade Raider or any of those rare skins like the Aerial Assault Trooper, and I decided to buy the Mako Glider instead. Now, don't get me wrong, it is really cool to own it. It is one of the rarest items we are ever going to see, but it's a glider. I mean, it would have been so much cooler to actually own the Renegade Raider, but unfortunately, I was just a complete noob. But yeah, let's just keep going. We have all the Marvel gliders in here. The Dragacorn I'm using at the moment, hilarious glider, easily one of my absolute favorites. Um, all the Icon ones are pretty cool, but I don't really use them that often. The Astro World Cyclone's in here, and that is definitely one of the more rare ones. Oh my god, Inflator Roach. I did not know that was a thing, but that's kind of funny. And then we just have all of the DC ones in here. There's only one Frozen series glider in the game. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, nothing really too exciting in here. The Gaming Legends series definitely has some weird ones, like whatever that thing is. But uh, yeah, that's it for gliders. There is a lot to go through with 274, but uh, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. We then move on to back blings and we have 750 back blings in the game. That's crazy considering I never really use back blings. We have all of the skin specific ones down here. We have Suko's Scabbard, which I just unlocked. The WWE Championship belt, though, I have been using quite a bit. That is pretty much a constant theme with all of these items. Just the favorited ones that you guys are seeing on screen are the ones that I do use if I am actually going to be using a back bling. Um, I am a huge fan of the Invincible series, so this was really funny to me. I thought it was actually quite cool, but there aren't really too many in here that I use all the time. I feel like when they were first added to the game, people thought backlings were the best thing ever. They thought they were going to be so popular and so tryhard in Fortnite, and they definitely were tryhard for a few seasons. We still see some pros using them from time to time, but now in Chapter 5 Season 2, most pros and streamers just don't use backlings at all, just because there are some other items that are probably going to be better. The Shattered Wing, though, has been one of the more popular ones. I was always a fan of using backlings that were quite small. That seemed to be pretty common amongst most of the best players in the world. But I also like to use backlings as a chance to use some of the biggest meme items that we have got in the game without it actually taking away from how good the skins actually were. So things like the Pinata Brian and Pickle Rick is a perfect example of using a meme item that shows people that maybe you don't take the game too seriously, but then you can also use a skin that is very tryhard or just known as a tryhard skin. There are so many backlings in here though. I really haven't had a chance to use most of these. There are probably only 15 or 20 that I have actually used, which is kind of crazy. I feel like Fortnite really could make these a lot more popular though, by introducing backblings as their own separate item in the item shop, instead of adding them as an accessory to skins, where you end up having to spend like 2,000 V-Bucks to buy a skin that you don't really like just for the backbling. If they had have added these to the store as like a 200 V-Buck item, then a lot more people would be buying them, and I feel like we would actually see the popularity of backblings increasing. There is also really only a few pros in the world that actually still use backblings today, so Mr. Savage is one of the only pros, and I feel like that is really cool to see that he's still using backlings, but he pretty much only uses the gold token, which in itself is quite 
rare. We just don't see that many people owning it. Ben Rodriguez, we just had to talk about because it is kind of funny as well. But yeah, there's a lot in here that I don't really see. I feel like if pros and streamers did start using back blings again, then uh, we would see more people using them. These Star Wars ones are kind of cool. I feel like the Jedi Order, for example, would look really cool with a superhero skin. But we then move into Marvel and they are a lot more bigger and bulkier than some of the other ones. What the hell is this? Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some weird backlinks in here. It is similar to a lot of the other items where I just haven't had a chance to look through them and use all of them. The power pack, we see a lot of the power members actually using, so that is probably one of the more popular ones in the game today. So yeah, there's not really that many in here. This is actually kind of cool, the laugh riot, but again, it's not gonna work with all of your favorite skins. So yeah, that's why I pretty much don't use a back bling anymore. But if you do, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Next up though, guys, we're looking at pickaxes and we have nearly 600 pickaxes that we have collected, which is kind of crazy. Um, we have all of these skin specific ones here, so they aren't going to show up, but most of them are full of Marvel skins. I feel like there are a bunch of pickaxes that I have never used before because I just end up buying the skin bundles that get added to the item shop or obviously do unlock a bunch in the battle passes as well. But as we've already mentioned, a lot of my favorite ones are going to be favorited and those are probably the ones that I use more often than any other pickaxe in my locker. I do sort of prefer the more simplistic ones in the game as well. Obviously, there are some really amazing, bright and colorful ones and some of the more detailed ones do look really clean. But I just feel like for right now, the more simplistic ones are probably my go-to ones. The Scully Scepter is a perfect example of this. I've just seen so many people using this in the past that I've ended up using it as well just because it fits in with so many different skins. I do kind of like the Renegade Roller though. It is a little bit different to what we have seen. And the cool part about this is that it actually has the crowbar on the side of the pickaxe as well, which not too many people actually know about. I feel like that is a really cool touch. We have the Red Hot Revenge. I just bought this because I missed out on the Raiders Revenge. Um, we talked about that a little bit earlier on with the Mako Glider, but again, I could have bought that instead of the glider and decided to buy the Mako Glider instead. So we did actually miss out on the Raiders Revenge, which would have been really cool to own. We have Michonne's Katana. I mean, there are so many Katanas now in the game, but I feel like Michonne Shown's Katana is definitely one of the best. The Kamisenda Staff I am a big fan of. I just really like the way it looks. We just got the Immortal War Doru with the April Fortnite Crew Bundle, which was really clean. The Icebreaker we just have to own. I mean, it's one of the best pickaxes of all time. We do have the Gunswinger, which I feel like is kind of cool. Gladius of Potassius, a big meme pickaxe. The Ginger Sledge as well. I am actually quite a big fan of the Giant Nutcrackers. I think they are very, very unique and different to everything else we have seen. And obviously, as you guys can see as well, in the latest Fortnite update, they actually got rid of rarities in the locker. So all of these would have been mixed around. We don't have rarities anymore, which does kind of suck. Um, the Candy Axe is really clean. Way overpaid for this. I mean, it's 1,500 V-Bucks, which is so insane. But the only real rarities that are still in here are like Star Wars rarities, Slurp, Marvel, Icon series rarities. There aren't any uncommon, common, rare, epic, or legendary pickaxes anymore, which is kind of crazy to talk about. I feel like these Star Wars series that we have to mention on its own because they should have added lightsaber pickaxes to the game. That would have changed it completely. And I feel like they would be some of the more popular items. The Marvel pickaxes are really well done. There are some amazing icon ones as well. And I feel like the only one we're missing is the Diamond Jack. But my favorite series would have to be the Gaming Legend series. We obviously have the Leviathan Axe, which is so rare in Fortnite today. I really am a fan of the Witcher's Steel Sword, Yennefer's Megascope, the Stun Rod. We have the Hot Dogger as well, which is really clean. We also have the Ebonheart Battle Axe, which I am a big fan of. The Dark Place Lamp is really, really clean. And uh, the DC series is also really good. So we have the Harley Hitter, one of my personal favorites. Hawkman's Maze, which is really underrated. We have the Joker's Revenge. Catwoman's Grappling Claw, which I love. And of course, the Bad Joke. But yeah, that's pretty much all my pickaxes. There is a lot in here. 750 is a crazy amount. So uh, make sure to let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below. But finally, guys, we are moving on to the skins and we have 838 skins. 
Wow, that's a lot. Okay, that might be way too many skins, but we're going to go through each one. We have Zig, um, Zuko. Obviously, as we just talked about, they did get rid of the rarities. So these are all just in alphabetical order, I assume. We have the Yield Trooper, which is really clean. We have Zadie as well. I do own a lot of OG skins because I have been playing the game from the beginning. But I feel like most of the skins that I have bought have probably been over the last two or three years since when I pretty much started making YouTube videos. I obviously have to talk about a lot of different skins to get added to the game. So it just makes sense to buy as many as possible. We do have skins like Siren as well. But I try not to just buy the tryouts skins and also just buy skins that I think I'm going to use. So we do own Sergeant Drake, which is a hilarious skin. Serenade, I think is really clean. We obviously have Scourge, which was made famous by TV back in the day. We also have Sora as well. I feel like this should have been a lot more popular. Renzo the Destroyer is just one of my favorite skins. I mean, there are so many in here. It's going to be hard to talk about all of them, but there are some skins in here that we definitely need to take extra notice of. So for example, the Skull True I did end up buying back during chapter one, but it was when it got added the second time to the item shop. So I did actually miss out on the purple variant. It is really annoying because I was actually playing the game back when chapter one season one occurred. So I could have bought the purple skull trooper or at least buy it during chapter one season one and then get the purple variant later on. But I decided not to spend money on the game. So I also missed out on the pink ghoul trooper, which really does suck. Lana Lane is one of my favorite skins. I've been using this a bunch. But yeah, as you guys can see, there's a big mix of skins in here. I feel like I don't really use the same skin too often. I kind of like to change them around quite a bit. We do use most of the newest ones that have been added to the game, but also go back and use some of the OG skins or just ones that I think look good. For right now, I feel like I don't really have a main skin or a skin that I use every single day or at least every time I play Fortnite, but I have been using Chani quite a bit and we are starting to see a few pros and streamers using that as well, which is always really good to see. It is becoming a lot more try hard, which I love, but I would have loved some more edit styles when the second June movie came out, but that could always happen in the future. The Cozy Chomps is another favorite. I just think it looks so good. We have Countess Duraku, which is so underrated. We had to get Codename Elf because it's Lachlan skin. That was so cool. Clash, I really like. We actually just ended up buying the Sharon or Charon skin, which was cool. There's Chani, one of my all-time favorites. We have Cerberus, and we do have some of these styles unlocked for it so far. We have Caper as well. I did end up buying the Transformers bundle, even though I've never really used those skins. Um, yeah, there are some amazing ones in here. Aida, I feel like he's so underrated and so good. We have Aubrey as well, which is just kind of really cool at the moment. Ascendant Midas, an amazing skin that they have added. Artemis with some of these styles unlocked, and we will definitely grind our way through and get all of the edit styles for it. So that will be really clean. We have Ares. I've been subscribed to the Fortnite crew bundle from the very beginning, so I have all of those different variants. We then move into the Star Wars franchise, and I think I own every single Star Wars skin. It seems like we will be getting some more Star Wars skins added very soon as well, so if you are a Star Wars fan, make sure to keep an eye out for them. The Slurp series, though, is probably one of the worst ones we have in the game. It doesn't get too many skins added to it, same as the Shadow series. But we move into Marvel. We just got young adult Groot added to the game. I think I have every Marvel skin in here as well, apart from maybe one or two. I think Peter Quill, and there is maybe one other skin that I don't actually own. So if you know what it is, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. We do have the OG Black Widow, which is quite rare in Fortnite. We also have Travis Scott, which is very, very rare in the game today. But all of the other Icon Series skins, I don't really use too often. I feel like we will be getting some more of these this season. We actually really haven't had too many YouTubers being added to the game lately, or streamers, or just pro Fortnite players. So it would be cool to see some more of them. The Gaming Legends series is one of my favorites, so we have Sakura, which is kind of iconic in Fortnite, I guess. We have Lara Croft as well. Solid Snake was just added to the game last season, and that was really cool. Kratos is actually quite rare. It came to the game with the Leviathan Axe. I'm a big fan of the Exo Stranger. I think that is quite cool. We have Chun-Li as well, very iconic in Fortnite. But Kami is probably my favorite gaming legend skin that no one seems to use. We then move on to the Frozen series. There are some amazing skins in here. And DC is one of my favorites as well. The Joker used to be my YouTube logo, which is really cool. Um, we have the Harley Quinn skin. We have 
the original Harley Quinn skin. Um, we got some of these. I nearly unlocked Deathstroke Zero in the cup that we had for this skin, which was kind of cool. I did actually make a video about that. And then we have the Dark Series skins to finish it off. So we have a bunch of skins. I mean, 850 skins is a crazy amount. But if you guys have more, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This was a complete look at my entire locker. I haven't really done these for a while. So I hope you guys did enjoy them. And uh, if there's any items you think I should buy over the next few weeks, make sure to let me know what they are in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.